Hi, my friend. This is Robert here from Lifepreneur. I got one. I got two words in my mind, and millions and millions of people are affected by it, my friend. It's called office politics. Do you ever get those days where you get caught in the center of office politics? You're on the bad end of the stick with office politics. You see office politics, and it 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 it's you get sick. Knowing the fact that you got to go to work to deal with office politics every day, the unfairness, the corruption, the favoritism, the little games that are going on. When you know deep down in your soul, my friend, you're far greater than the little games, the little petty games that are happening in an office. Millions and millions of Americans, North Americans, are, are going through this each and every day. My question is, how long are you going to be putting up with office politics, the pettiness, the childish games, the corruption, ethical issues. How long? How long are you going to put up with it? I mean, you know what it feels like to go to work and you don't want to go to work? You wake up Monday morning and you dread going to work because of the emotional heartache it gives, gives you deep down inside? You know what it feels like? And then on Friday, you're like, oh my God, thank God it's Friday so I can get two days out of the week to relax and get the heck out of here. A lot of people are going through office politics every single day. But you know what I find? Is most people will stick their, their head in the sand and be like ostriches. They don't want to deal with it. Why? Because they live in fear of losing their job. They won't, they won't stand against what everybody else or outside of what everybody else thinks the herd mentality if there's unfairness going on and we each know deep down inside there's unfairness going around and when you're locked into a company that there's unfairness going on you know what's more important a paycheck or your value who you are the values that you stand for are you going to are you going to compromise that, that just for the sake of a paycheck and there, you know what there's a lot of people that do that I don't understand. I don't, I, I don't understand. There's a lot of people out there that talk a good talk. Yes, I want to help the world. I want to be this. I want to be that. And people are more important. But yet you get them in an office setting, in a corporation. They're the first ones to cut your throat because they, get, they, want to, they want to make sure they keep their job. And they're the last ones to stand and lay their life down for you so that everybody keeps their job. These are the things that I, I hear from my friends, that I hear from people that day in, day out, they are, they are coming across this office politics. God, how long are you going to do, do this, my friend? How long are you going to go around that mountain? Give yourself gray hairs. Really, really think about that because you know what? I did. And it came, I came to a point where I was so sick and tired of of having to go into work feeling sick and to deal with office politics on a regular basis. And so I decided to do some things that are different. And I took charge of my life and started to learn new skill sets so that I can actually pull myself out of there one day, soon, and do the things that I want to do and do more of it and get paid. And that's what I want to encourage you folks my friend, I want to encourage you to find out what your passion is, find out what your dream is, and do that. I'll tell you one thing. When you live out your dream and you're getting paid for it, there's nothing like it in the world. Nothing like it in the world. Because then you wake up in the, in the mornings and everything's fine. Because you know that the rest of the day is your day on your terms. This is Robert here from Lifepreneur, Creative Options with Power to Profit. There's a link down below, my friend. I want you to sign up because one of the things I did was the smartest thing ever is I chose to work a blueprint of success that has worked very, very well for me and it's very, very simple. Very simple. It's a three-step process. It's blog, tell, tell people online, connect with people online, share your concepts and ideas people being a like-minded coming together and make money.
It's not that it's not that hard, my friends. It's not rocket science. You, you got to be really stupid not to figure this one out. So I want to encourage you folks, sign up down below right now. We'll see you guys on the other side.